now like to invite our next speaker, Mr. Eric Wu, President Huawei Enterprise. Eric has worked in Huawei for more than 10 years and has worked in India since 2004. He was earlier the CEO of Huawei Telecommunications India, Mumbai region, and was responsible for a turnover of more than USD 1 million. At present, Eric is the president for Huawei Enterprise Business and is in charge of the India and the Nepal Enterprise Business. Eric is going to speak on the topic of converging business requirements and the cloud. I'd like to invite Eric on the stage, please. Thank you, it's a uh, catch the chance to participate in this event and also share some kind of the opening from our side. Can you give me that? Uh... Oh, it's here. Okay, nice. Okay, I think cloud now is uh, one very hot topic. But a lot of people ask how far away cloud from me. Okay. I think it's not that far. That's the reason today I use this uh, 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 topic, I uh, build on cloud, but build easier, build faster, and even build earlier. You don't need to wait, okay, when cloud become how much mature, you don't need to think how it will be that difficult to deploy. Because in our opinion, we think cloud is not some kind of the complicated technology. It's one kind of the concept to make our life or make our work become easier than before. That's our understanding. From this whole presentation, I just want to show how can make it you become more convenient than before. It's not make either you are the CEO or you are the employee or you are the CFO. You facing more complex, more expensive or more difficulty to adjust. I think that's not what the cloud try to do. Okay. Cloud should make our life become easier, become better. So it's just the first the slide I want to give a little brief about Huawei in cloud. Okay. A lot of people may not may, may know Huawei is very strong players, also world leaders in telecom communication. Even globally we serve the three billion people directly or indirectly for telecom service. Even in India, we also serve for more than 300 million people. We work with all of the operators in India. But maybe very not much people knowing what Huawei doing in enterprise and what Huawei doing in cloud. But we already did several times event and road show is across this country. I think now maybe the people who are sitting here is already knowing how we're doing something in cloud. I just want to say Huawei have a single cloud solutions. That's meaning no matter what you want, we can find one option for you. So I think my slide structure is almost same or similar with my IBM friend. Okay. It's also through the challenge and uh, cloud computing is the route to success and the value from cloud computing. But there will be good with little difference because actually the way Huawei also one of the largest clients or IBM. Okay, we have multiple corporation with them. We get maybe many million dollars consultant from them every year. And uh, I do appreciate they have overall view because they have very large presence in the uh, enterprise client. Huawei in enterprise I, is new players. But in technology, we are the leaders. I think from this presentation, I will cover more about uh, solution instead of a concept. Because only the concept, only knowing the concept of the cloud will not help you to reach to use the cloud. The challenge I won't do say much. I think most people knowing you will facing traditional challenge about security, information leaking, the implementation time, and even the power consumption, PUE, whatever. I think every CIO know all this challenge. But how to solve, every, every CIO have a different opinion. 
was a challenge. I will look. What well, you feel several challenge from different angles. One was angle we from start from here start. This computer, what should be changed? This computer, can it become changed better or change smart? You also have lots of terminals, handset, ebook, video conference, telepresence, everything. How you can handle them together? Does this cloud or not? We believe this also. The other cloud is not only meaning data. Cloud meaning the structure, how you will utilize all of the common resource to achieve the better result for you. Then high speed broadband, you should use private cloud or public cloud or hybrid cloud. The most time the people also think confused. I'm just one company, why should we engage with so much technology things? Then how many CIOs want to deploy the cloud, they will think, oh my god, there are hundreds of the players, which I should choose? Okay, this is one little summary. Okay. I think data security is the most CIO thinking is the reason should do some private cloud. But not only that, it's also around 13% CIO feel the loss of control of the IT or less in-house skill for implementation support. A lot of concern. Sometimes if I, in last almost uh, one year, I start this enterprise business in India. I visited more than 500 senior executives, including at least 200 CIO. I discussed with them, why well, don't start the cloud? You will see, why should my IT system working well, right? If you want me to start the cloud, I maybe need to pay more. I also maybe not ready for my employee skill. Or maybe my CIO think, unless until you prove you can bring value to me, don't do that. They face a lot of challenge. So it's how can, uh, can we approach cloud? Okay. I think uh, we make it in two parts. One is IT requirement, the traditional IT, including reduced IT cost, simple IT, and the fast delivery and the service value. Another part, we also put the CT. Most time, the people may not uh, uh, pay much attention for that because the CT part I saw in so many, uh, this me regarding communication, okay. Is controlled by admin team. It's not controlled by CIO. This is also one interesting thing. But today, the IT or CT requirement is time can converge together. Okay. I think very soon, maybe even now, there is no IT concept. Should always ICT. Because data, voice, video is always mixed together, come to your front. If today, if you see the who is the successors, either Facebook, or Google, or LinkedIn, all of them with the multiple communication ways. It's not the voice, not the data, not the video conference, it's all. Whenever you need, whenever you want, they will supply those kind of ways. So the cloud strategy is single platform for all applications. That's what we have to say. No matter which kind of cloud, okay, they always divide in three parts. I hope this slide is working, okay. Is a cloud device? Cloud network, cloud, all of the cloud, cloud may be divided in two parts. One is infrastructure cloud, one is applications. This cloud, from here, if you come a little in detail, which kind of cloud probably you choose. You can choose public, private, hybrid. If for the application, if you have cloud application, you also have cloud platform. That's what you need to do. Today, I don't know is a, uh, all of the gentlemen or all of the ladies who are sitting here, uh, if you are the CEO of a large company, probably you should choose this one. Because you can afford, suppose you have 10,000 employees, you can afford, for example, Huawei have 1.4 lakh employees globally. We can afford, we build private cloud. Okay, we are using well. But not everyone can afford, they will go to public cloud. I give one example, this is for hospital. In Shanghai, the big city, is most people know it. Huawei supplies the health cloud for one-fourth population in Shanghai. That's public cloud, which make people can use their 
doctor resource, equipment resource, knowledge resource in the efficient manners. They choose public cloud. Hybrid. I think most people will go to hybrid. Uh, in the last few months, I discussed with Bahad, Reliance, Vodafone, all of their enterprise hive. And I asked them, what's your strategy next step? You see, we try to do something different. What's different? I think one of the difference is, one of the difference is supply, they can supply some public cloud to you. You can install or put some of your information or your data in their data centers. But in the same time, you also need to keep something in your own locations from a cost view or from secret view. This hybrid. But not only for data, okay. even for video conference, telepresence, you also can do the hybrid way. Okay. Now let me go to next. Then one by one. I have from your stop stock, from desktop your stock, right? From your desktop you have the computer, maybe you have laptop, but no matter. But probably you think first do the virtualization, right? I think I just quickly go through this presentation. You can see. You can see. In the near future, maybe from now, from our view, okay, the company who have more than 500 employees, who have 300 employees work together, okay, you should not buy computer anymore. You should directly go to VDI. Indian also called VDI, how we call desktop cloud computing. Immediately, no delay. Because technically we can prove, okay, and commercially we also can prove. This solution is much better than traditional one. Okay. Then for the, this just give you an example, this communication part, we use IPCC, it's IP call centers. But if not IP call centers, if you use by yourself, the unified communication, you also should go to cloud. Use those kind of structure, you can communicate with your senior or your team members in the way which you want. Sometimes you need a video, sometimes you need data, sometimes you need voice. This we see the video unified communication, including the mobile office, tablet. Today, I, I carry on my mobile, okay? This is a Huawei new launch mobile, slim one. But that's not important. Important is the application running in this mobile, okay? I can approve my team members travel all their business plan through my mobile. Okay. I can have the video conference or even telepresence through my mobile. I even can have the social network like micro blog or even the same function like Facebook. We can combine these matters. This really improve the efficiency and enhance the result for the business. So I think all of you can do it, not difficult. The cloud computing, what value can got really from cloud? I think uh, this Gartner report, okay. Uh, the words, I, I want to read this, maybe everyone can read this. You do not to do desktop virtualization to save money because you are not going to do. You are going to spend more money on infrastructure. I put up here, not meaning I 100% agree with them, okay. I partially agree with them. I think today the technology changed. Okay. I believe okay, you do desktop virtualization may not spend more money. Probably the same or little more than your traditional way. But, but you will solve all of the other problems like security, maintenance, delivery time, all of that. So what the cloud bring to us? I just give you a few examples. Okay. The average IT utilization of the resource is 30%. I think everyone have bigger, maybe hard disk, 300 G, 400 G. Does every uh, uh, one of us use that? I don't believe. At least I don't use that much. Probably I use 50 G, 80 G maximum. There are at least 70% hardware or in my desktop or in my laptop, I don't use at all. But if you go to cloud, the usage, usage can go up to 6%. What's the meaning? 
the meetings in the office, probably you have maybe thousands of people. You need to give every one of them one desktop, laptop, whatever. Maybe 300 G. Okay, 300 G multiplied by 1,000 is 3 T. I'm right, right? But actually, your real requirement of the data may be only 1 TB. Then you see how much? Huge. But does it that difficult to do? No, you can't run now. It's just like you order the laptop or desktop from Windows. You also can order those kind of virtualization from the vendor, like Huawei. I know others also can do, but the Huawei definitely can do. Then the time will reduce from two or three hours to three minutes. Then the power consumption will reduce maybe by 71%. I will not go to detail, but this is all of the exactly what advantage you will get immediately. Okay. You don't need to think another year to start that. You do now, you're saving now, you enjoy now. This TCU analyze scenario, I think this is a traditional one, this is one. I'm not going to detail. Okay. I just directly come to the result. Okay, maybe come to here. The network expense, TCU, CapEx, OPEX, and other things. Okay. As a result, okay. If you do this cloud, we, we talk about the, we start from the uh, uh, desktop cloud. Okay. This because actually this is the majority. Okay. You are easily saving three years 25%. First year, your capex may be a little higher than traditional one. Then second year, OPEX much lower, then much lower. But this assumption based on one thing. The capex may be 2.7 times than the traditional models. Is my colleague right? Okay, for the marketing purpose. But I am the decision maker for enterprise in India. I know this capex will not more than 1.5 times, 1 .5 times higher than the traditional one, even lower. Now we are working for some case with the largest group in India. I think they are top 10 group. They all have one change their, not a whole, they start piece by piece, change their uh, traditional way to this VDI. I think the price for compared to traditional one, it will not more than 1.5 times. But the benefit of what you get here, maybe reach 50 or 60%. I think if you are a CIO, probably you need to report to your CFO what you can do. I think that's the reason. You can save 50% within three years. Why we don't do? I think that you can challenge your CFO or the leaders who, who are yours. Okay. This is what we offer for cloud. Interesting. Okay. How we can offer all of that. I'm also quite surprised when I see these slides. Oh, how, how we can offer all of that? From IIS, VDI, server, storage, model DC, we have all. For the platform as service, we have video bridge, VPN, and even social network. As I said, uh, we have the e-conference, UC, web portal, storage portal, AMS, EMS. So I just quickly go through that. You can see, what's this? Server, a lot. I, want not, I don't want to go to details. I just want to see, it's competitive. Storage, I don't see much. I don't see one thing. Uh, last year, Huawei made a decision, spend 500 million to take back the Huawei Semitech. Uh, shares from Semtech, they make it become Huawei part of, or part of Huawei enterprise. That's our uh, determination. Okay, network, network. We also have almost everything: router, LAN switch, firewall, all of that. I not go to detail. Okay, separate product, including hardware, software, for the security. Then data center. I want to spend a little more time. Most people think data center may be the very complex technology. But after we analyze that, we believe okay, data center is one of the simple technology. What's really inside? Right? The most inside is uh, traditional data centers. Maybe you should think a lot. Found the right place, raised floor, put a pottery, put a UPS and put a generator, put a cooling system. I think all of CIO feel this painting. But today, you get a choice. 
you can go to this container center, or if not, you can go to the model center directly. This is just like you buy the handset, or you buy the desktop. There's no difference. You just need to give one space, buy, finish. And even this heat is not need that much. You can put this model center in the normal office. You don't need to bother with how heat it is, because it's all of the seal. Inside, you get everything. UPS, power, battery, all of that. Even the alarm system, cooling system, and this cooling system. Finally, I want to ask one question. Maybe no one answered me, but I still want to ask. You, I think most CEOs facing the challenge about the PUE, especially for the largest center. In India, as I know, this figure will around the two, sometimes to 2.3. But if you use this one, okay, your PUE can come to 1.4 to 1.5. You may not believe, okay, but no problem. In next next month, that means August, I invite all of you to visit our budget center in Bangalore only. You can go there, have a look. We already aligned with our partners to do this. Okay. We also can prove this is not only better in the PUE and even in the commercial well is better than traditional well. Okay. So this unified communication, just like what I say, you have a lot of terminals. How you can communicate with each other? Today, I think most of the corporate office have video conference have the maybe web portal conference or have voice conference. Do you ever think you can commit this unified all this communication together? Maybe someone also have telepresence. I don't know who have. Okay. But Huawei can integrate it or maybe you say the unified all of the communications in the same platform with high efficient miners. Just now, colleague, uh, I saw IBM give one figures, 200 million, millions of web conference. But in Huawei, we have 1.4 lakh employees. Okay. Every day, they will use this one, PC client. The average, more than half hour. That's every day is around 3 million minutes. That's what we are doing. How much we are saving as our IT Executive director of IT said, because this system, we are saving more than 200 million each year. But of course, it's Huawei is a large company. We have the 140,000 employees. We also have the 145 office. But I believe okay, most of the big corporate will save significant. This web portal, this also interest. Our CEO and the founder make one decision. No matter what you want to propose to market, you, Huawei as a company, use first. That's all we will use. This also we use. Web portal. If you see the VB, you cannot see, but I only give one idea to you. Use this web portal. You can do everything you want. Business trip, attendance, e-transfer, and iTools, IT online, and even communication system, all the, uh, this learning system, e-learning. 3MS is an information share system. Okay. We all have this. Micro block. Now, a lot of the corporate is go to Facebook or LinkedIn to use their social network. I cannot say this is right or wrong. But most time you will face a challenge. You cannot communicate much in that public social network. I think for the company who have thousand employees, they should go for private or internal social network. Don't think this is very expensive, this is very cheap. Okay. Because this doesn't use much resource, but this will improve your efficiency by any way. I just give one example. Today, you see the army of America is very strong. Okay. Their Air Force and even the Navy okay, use the micro block, of course, not the Huawei. I just see the staff. They use the micro block. They use the social way. They use the they use those kind of way to communicate each other. 
They use this way to make the uh, maybe the war case or battle case, how can improve. I think this is one good study for all of us. I think in those kind of ways, you can improve your efficiency at least by 10 times. Probably, for example, like large company, if you have 1,000 people, if you want to do something with some other one, you may not know them, but I'm very sure in your colleague, maybe colleague or colleague, two or three steps, you can reach that guy, but you don't know. Then you can reach one micro blog in your internal network. Maybe with the five minutes, you'll get a result. Then we give some case study, okay, from Huawei and the customer. Why say again Huawei? Because I believe, okay, if any company, especially for IT company like Huawei, ICT company like Huawei, you want to propose any solution, you need to use it first. Until unless your employee is convinced, you cannot go to market. Okay, that is our philosophy. That's our strategy. That's for example, I talk VDI a lot. I, I don't know, okay, you may not be aware, but the truth is Huawei have the largest VDI deployment in the world. Okay, 25,000 VDI deployment globally. Even in India, we have 500. In Bangalore, okay, we have one GNOC, it's a global NOC, it's a cloud NOC. Okay, we are not using traditional technology, okay, we use the most advanced. And also, our new R&D center, not new R&D, our R&D center in Bangalore, we have 3,000 employees. See, August, we change all of the laptop, we threw all of the laptop, desktop out. Okay. All of we change to VDI. Because we do believe we'll get this benefit. For example, CPU usage from 5% to more than 6%. Improve five times. The hardware deployment time from three months to one week. Because in the desktop, you hardly find anything. It's only the display and the sync line. That's all. And even the sync line, we can make a wireless sync line. People will maybe ask, OK, for the sync line, which kind of bandwidth you need? Not much. Okay, If you're not doing the picture is uh, all the video things, it's only 50K to 300K is good enough. I think most of the CDMA, uh, WCDMA, or Bangalore, fortunately, have LTE. Okay. We also have some outside uh, thing study. I will not go to detail. Okay. This one is also interesting one. Star Hub, maybe our CA should know, is this is in Singapore, okay, which is Huawei did. And uh, finally, I want to emphasis again, okay. Huawei, in the world, we have a lot of experience in communication technologies. We are serving one third of the population in the world today. And uh, we have the global second largest telecom company. And we also have the 140K employees. And now, we are devoted to the cloud computing. We want to do better, make your job easier. Finally, we believe Huawei should be one suitable partner in cloud. Uh, initially, my colleague put the right partner. That I don't know. But I think it should be suitable. Well, I check one by one, OK? You think you need an integrated multiple one, but not a need. We have end-to-end -end solutions. If you think technology, actually, Huawei got the highest patent in cloud in 2011, 3,000 patents. In the same time, I just say, every year in the world, we are at the top three or top two, the patent, OK? The one of the first technology adopters. This is also very important. Largest in-house or implementation of cloud. This is quite important, because most of the time, you don't use, you will not know, OK? We have partner. And for India, we have some other strong point. We come to India almost more than three years, more, more than 13 years. Okay. We have 6,000 employees in India. And we have 3,000 R&Ds in Bangalore. Okay. We believe we can give the better service and a more, or maybe much more affordable than any time before. I want, actually, I want to put maybe much cost-effective. My colleague Chen just said, 
you should do much more affordable, okay? But I know, if we get a chance, okay, we always can make you satisfied. But uh, unfortunately, I don't know most of you because we are new players. But now you know us. I believe whenever you think about the cloud in your mind, probably you should think, yes, Huawei have this solution. They may be not good, but why not let me try? But the way I guarantee you, once you try, you will find we are really good. OK, uh, just take the chance. Can I ask Ms. Sonia to stand up? Ms. Sonia is our regional head for Bangalore. I think if you have anything regarding cloud, regarding technology in Bangalore, you can ask her. He can, she can help all of you to utilize our R&D resource, our global knock, and even our open lab in Bangalore, just in Lila office, Lila hotel, okay, very near. You can go to there with it. Okay, he said time up. It's good enough, I also complete. Finally, I just want to transfer one slogan. Huawei Enterprise is a better way for all of us. Either you want to save money, you want to improve the convenience, or you want to do the better technology. Thank all of you. Uh, uh, thank you, Eric, for your time. Uh, are there any questions from the audience? OK. Yeah, one second. Yeah. Yeah, Amit. I think I was audible towards the end, perhaps. Okay. Uh, Amit here. Uh, this is for both uh, Vamsi as well as Eric. Uh, see, the path towards cloud, yeah. and if we consider cloud as a product, okay. then there could be fine, yeah. many byproducts you know, on the way. So, so we have cost reduction, we have you know, uh, better disaster recovery. Uh, we have, we, we attain scalability. Uh, we consolidate our platforms on the way. Uh, I wanted to know from uh, Vamsi, you know, uh, for example, 26% uh, of adoption of cloud in India, that is uh, the data that you provided. So out of these, uh, you know, byproducts that I mentioned, which were the, you know, bigger drivers? That was first. And second is, uh, in our interaction with the CIOs, many of uh, you who are here in the room, uh, we see that you know people say that we through cloud we t tend to lose control over IT. Uh, do you do you see uh, you know OEMs or service providers uh, you know adopt various ways and means you know to to ensure that in our monolithic environment or in our traditional IT environment. The kind of controls that we have, uh, you know, service well, catalog and all that. How do we attend that in the cloud environment? Okay. Thank you. So you start first. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the first part, I think, I'm, I'm, as you're saying, what are the people using when you say 26? So uh, I'm afraid I, I don't think we have the clarity of what exactly goes down to the com last offering, but. Uh, predominantly, it's a mix of all uh, as a service offerings, right? You know, they're probably going, they're, there are a bunch of them who are building uh, managed virtual environments, the bunch of them who are buying infrastructure as a service, the bunch of them who, who are actually using a lot of collaboration and, uh, you know, CRM type of application from cloud, right? So th that number, again, you know, we can talk to Forrester if you want the detail, but uh, as I said in the presentation, it's the number from Forrester. But yes, you know, in general, that adoption is there. And for your question around the CIO and losing control, uh, and I alluded to that while I was talking, while, while I was presenting, uh, two couple of important things uh, which we do, right? One is uh, about three years ago, uh, I remember I was part of a group called Open Cloud Manifesto, right? And we tried to get all the vendors together to prepare some standards. Right, and it, it didn't take off. So what we have done is we have now asked the customers or provider, consumers to come and say what will make it comfortable for them to, uh, uh, you know, sort of adopt cloud. And as a part of that, uh, the control aspect is uh, basically across two aspects. One is am I having visibility across different infrastructures which I'm buying from? And second, am I going to be locked in if I buy someone, buy it from someone, right? The latter part of it we're solving by getting all of these together to define common standards so that they are much more confident that when they go to adopt cloud that 
they can move between vendors to vendors and ensure that they're the same. The first one is what we as vendors have to do, right? We, any new technology, there's always going to be inhibition, apprehension, et cetera. And especially something which touches so much of the core of operating principles and the, the way the processes are defined. It's, you know, as vendors, it's our responsibility to show them both from a technology and a practice and how they can actually seamlessly adopt this. Right? You know, there are solutions which are coming. That's why I said about the hybrid in the technology, right? You know, today we have an appliance which can sit on the periphery and connect these two uh, on-premise and off-premise solutions so that the visibility across these two uh, consumption models is maintained rather than, you know, you buy a VM on a particular public cloud and you don't know who's using it, how much of it is being used. Uh, rather than that, getting them all together and putting it in a central uh, unified interface so that he has a visibility and control is something, an example I'm giving. But beyond that, there are a lot of it. Okay. So uh, I'm sorry to see, I'm not getting your question exactly. But as I'm, my understanding is, you just want to see who deployed the largest cloud and how the cloud exactly is used or impact uh, or improve your work, right? I'm right. No, so out of those, you know, few uh, categories that I mentioned, so what are the bigger drivers? Are people more, uh, you know, going towards, you know, with an aim of cost reduction, or is it that they want to address some of the scalability issues, which okay, is why... got it, got it. How the drivers, okay. And the driver very simple. Don't make complex. Forget we are CIO, okay. We are not the CIO. Forget, now let's remember, every, every of us is CEO. All minimum CFO. What he want to do? He only want to do three things. One, enhance my business. It's always CEO or CFO required. Second, you may use a new platform, maybe cloud, maybe whatever. I don't bother. But you should ensure whatever I put the money should get more outputs, right? Third one, come to CIO. Now you think CIO. CIO, you will be thinking your risk. Today, you may have the good job, stable positions. Why should you try the risk? Let other person try first, right? Once they try, they may feel they may succeed. But if they succeed, let me start. Okay. I think from CEO angles, I also discussed a lot of CEO. Most of CEOs don't bother technology. Okay. They are looking for business. That's the reason, until you analyze, the CIO is positive to prove it's good for business. Nothing will happen for cloud. Because CEO or CFO will not allow you to do. Okay. That's the first one. Second one is cloud until now. Okay. I, maybe I use this kind of words. Okay. Until now, you may not find a good choice to go for cloud. You have to face at least five or six windows together to do this job. Yourself also feel challenged. But today, I think when Huawei comes to the pictures, what we're giving is one-stop solution. Of course, one-stop solution not meaning I'm system integrators. I still work, for example, like with IBM together to work with customers. But the inside is where it becomes very si simple for the integration work. The last one, does you really lose control of IT or really lose this or lose that? Not really. Okay. Finally, it's you are the owner. You are driving this. Either it's OPEX model or CAPEX model. Without your involvement, they cannot go to anywhere. So that's what I say. The main driver is business requirement. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, the CEO doesn't know this new IT platform will bring which kind of value for the business. So the CEO job is to prove this new IT platform is not because technology is good, because he can improve the benefits of business. Once this job is done, everything will solve. That's the reason we do believe IT platform will never be the support only. IT platform become a main factor of productivity. Just like I mentioned, unified communication will improve the efficiency than you. Suppose Huawei deployed, you not deployed. You are facing some uh, likeness of communication when you compete with us, for example. I give another example. If other person deploys data in the cloud or the hybrid cloud, but you don't deploy it, I don't know which company you are. Suppose you are a retail company or manufacturing company. Your cost will increase, but of course, 
this cost in your, your whole business, maybe only one person or two person, they will maybe not bother, but you should bother. Okay. Well, this will save you 50% or 60%. You maybe tell the CFO, finally your balance sheet only show one person. But even this one person is also important for the shareholder or for the owners. I think that's the way how to convince. That's the way how Huawei IT team convince Huawei management to do all of that. I say again, we do this not because of how much we like it, because the business required. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Eric, for your time. Uh, yeah. I'd just like to hand over to Paul Momento. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Okay, no problem.